Now Bilal radiallahu anhu, he's a slave at this time to the mushrikeen, to the polities. And the Prophet والسلام, encourages the Sahaba to free him, to buy his freedom. And we'll talk about Abu Bakr radiallahu how he uh, bought the freedom of Bilal radiallahu anhu. But what does it tell you? The Prophet والسلام, now is encouraging the end of slavery. The slavery was there in the Arabian Peninsula before Islam. Before Islam, they had slavery. And we'll talk about uh, Zayd and Niharata radiallahu anhu, and the Zayd and so on today as well, inshaAllah. But one of the first things that Prophet sallallahu does is he starts to encourage the Sahaba, the companion, to free slaves even though that are enslaved to the polity, to the mushrikeen. And these people become, these early Muslims become the leaders of the Muslim community. It doesn't matter that they're black or white, Arab, Rajab, didn't matter. Bilal Radiyan was a slave, he was an African. And he was enslaved by the polytheists before Islam. Abu Bakr Rabian frees him. Doesn't ask anything of him. Doesn't say pay me back. Nothing. Frees him. He ends up being the Amir. He was appointed as the leader, the governor of Sham. Sham was the whitest people in the Muslim Ummah at the time. Lightest skin. And it was the richest region in the Muslim Ummah. It was the best in trade. Nobody said, why is there a black man leading? Ah, because Islam did away with all of this race. Nobody is better in front of Allah, not the black to the white, or white over black, or, or red, or this or that, skin color, rich, poor, except the taqwa. Whoever is more pious, whoever is more capable, he's put ahead. That's something beautiful about Islam. People miss 